Welcome to this Crimson and Gray Zoom and the St. Joseph's Atlantic 10 Women's Basketball Preseason Preview. We are joined by head coach of the Hawks, Cindy Griffin, getting set to enter her 20th season on Hawk Hill. Welcome, Coach. Hi, Nikki. Thanks. Coach, as you are starting the 2020-21 season in just a few weeks, tell us one thing that fans need to know about this team of eight returners, three graduate student additions, and two true freshmen. I would say they're very competitive. There's an opportunity throughout this whole summer for them to take some time off, obviously, and not come back in shape, but they've come back in great shape and they are ready to roll. What or whom has surprised you so far in preseason practices? I think our sophomore class as a whole. I think you will see the most improvement from freshman to sophomore year in a lot of players, but I would say all three of them, starting with Kalia Henderson, Jaden Walker, and Gabby Smalls. Surprise, you know, yes, because they were, as a freshman, they were a little bit, you know, slow to adapt, but sophomore, they're, they're right in here and they're, they're hitting the ground rolling. The A-10 is always an extremely competitive league. What is this year's team specifically going to have to do to make a run at that A-10 trophy? We're going to need to be able to score the ball, Nick. We're going to need to be able to put that ball in the basket. Um, you know, last year we did a great job defensively, one of the top teams in the league in that category. That's got to continue, but it's got to be on the offensive end and our offensive efficiency. Our first of three student athletes joining us today is Mary Sheehan, a senior guard out of Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania, who appeared in all 29 games while captaining the Hawks last fall. Mary, from your perspective, how does the team look so far? I think we're looking good. I mean, it's definitely harder to tell this year than in previous years, just with us not all being able to work out together um, at the same time yet. But from what I've seen, individual groups, everyone's looking good. Um, there's a lot of great energy in the gym, and everyone's just really excited to, to be on campus and, and working out together. I think we have a really solid group of eight returners coming back um, who are all improved and just really excited to get back out there and compete together again. And we had five new additions, three grad transfers and two freshmen. Of the grad transfers, um, Elena, she's from Pitt. She has a really great shot. Definitely will help us space the floor out. Uh, Olivia and Alexis are both really strong and smart posts. They'll give us a lot of depth and experience at that position. And then the two freshman guards, they're both really talented, athletic, um, and they've come in ready to go. So they've been picking up things quick, and that's always, that's always great to see. What will separate your team from other teams you'll face across non-conference and conference play this year? I think our experience level with the eight returners, we have a lot of minutes played amongst the eight of us. And then also adding in the three grad transfers, you know, those guys have played for three, if not four years at other universities. So with experience comes maturity, a little bit wiser. And I think with that stuff, you know, you ultimately are just a little bit better. So I think that gives us a little bit of an edge. Joining us now is sophomore guard Kalia Henderson out of Tampa, Florida. Kalia played in 26 games as a freshman last year and racked up 23 total steals, which ranked second on the team overall. Kalia, you have a year down now of A-10 conference play, so you know that the A-10 is obviously a very competitive league. What does St. Joe's have to do this year in order to make a run at that A-10 trophy? I believe that we just have to get easier baskets and transition and uh, play better team defense and control the defensive boards. Goals just actually work well as a team. That's all we can ever really do. I feel like we have the talent is there and you just have to put it all together. You've seen all of the conference opponents at this point, having played them last year as a rookie. What is one conference game that you're most looking forward to this season? Uh, I was thinking about it a lot. But I was just like, I don't have a preference because I think all the teams in Atlanta 10 are like great, you know, great schools. But so we just have to be ready to play them when we get to them. I'm excited for it. We're now joined by the Hawks 2019-20 Most Valuable Player, Katie Jaycott, a junior guard out of Enola, Pennsylvania. Katie Jaycott was the only Hawk to start all 29 games last year and led the Hawks in scoring with 10.6 points per game and drained 44 threes on the year. Fun fact about Katie Jaycott is she goes by KJ, so we'll jump right in with that. KJ, if you could describe this year's team in one word, what would that word be and why? Yeah, so um, the one word that I would choose is competitive. I can already tell with a couple practices in um, that this team is ready to compete and win. It's been a lot of fun having this mindset in the gym because it motivates everyone to work a lot harder. What or whom has surprised you so far in preseason practices? So I think the biggest surprise to me is that the team has been working so well together. Um, with COVID, we weren't really allowed to be on the court together at all during the summer, which usually we have those six weeks to prepare. 
Um, and we do have five new players, so it's been nice seeing how they work well with the returning players. That'll do it from head coach Cindy Griffin, Mary Sheehan, Kalia Henderson, and Katie Jaycott. The 2020-21 NCAA women's basketball season is set to begin on November 25th.